Hey guys, Orson Burton here. Now, as you may realize, I haven't made a video in quite a while, so uh, sorry to all my subscribers for that. Um, but this video will hopefully make up for that because what I've got here today is a world exclusive. Now, you won't see this anywhere else on YouTube or any other kind of video website. Now, my friend, he works at Comic Con and he got his hands on some new Batman vs. Superman toys. They you know, this movie's gonna come out later this month, and these toys just aren't anywhere yet because they haven't been released. So, this is a world exclusive, don't forget that. Now, the movie is gonna feature Ben Affleck as the Joker, no, not the Joker, Batman. We got Henry Carville as Superman, and then the person who might play the Joker is Jarhead Leto, and uh, he's gonna be in the Suicide Squad movies, but uh, maybe he'll be in this movie too, and you'll find out in this video later on why I think that but uh, this movie was directed by uh, Zach uh, Snitter he is famous obviously for directing the 200 movie uh, the movie called Watchtower which is a Marvel movie and also Iron Man so uh, two Marvel movies and now he's going to make a DC movie so who would have thought now I have to remind you that this is a lot exclusive so you won't see this anywhere else Okay, so uh, I'm going to show you the first item now, and uh, hope you enjoy it, guys. Okay, guys, so uh, here is the first item. Wow, this this really looks like Ben Affleck. I mean, uh, really captures his face here. In fact, I heard they got a picture of him and actually computerized him, like, on a computer and then put it into the 3D printer so you can't get much more Ben Affleck than this right here um, so I guess that's how they made this which is quite impressive because 3D printing is like a, a thing now it's really good and it's just amazing how they can make it look so much like Batman I mean Batman more like wow man this looks really like Ben Affleck and I really like what they did here with this uh, you know there's a little slot in the back here and also a little compartment down here so I'm guessing this is gonna be like a money box uh, which is really cool I mean this belt is quite detailed here and you got his abs which are very detailed uh, you got his cape here as well and then obviously that Ben Affleck face right there so uh, I'm really happy with this and I'm really looking forward to see this out in stores I think it'll sell a lot okay guys so uh, this is the second toy and wow, it looks like the Bat Bike is going to make a reappearance. Uh, it was in The Dark Knight. Uh, that was a really good movie, by the way. But I don't like this remodel of the Bat Bike here. It's, I don't think it's as good as the Dark Knight version. Uh, but finally, we might see him have a drag race against the Riddler. And that was obviously seen in issue 74. I mean, the only kind of downside to this, you know, is terrible articulation. This is the only articulation you get here, where you can just kind of pull Batman up but then if you have him in this position then what is he doing other than so there's no point there really and you can articulate this the wheel I guess but uh you know there's some scuff marks on here it's not the best but again this is a prototype so I'm hoping that they improve on this and it'll be a lot better okay let's uh, get to the next thing okay so here is the next thing they're bringing and Oh my god, I can finally dress up as Batman at Comic-Con next year. Well guys, seriously, I mean, don't you just want to kiss those lips? I mean, it looks so real. I mean, it's just amazing how well they have done this. The only problem is though, I haven't got the string for it, so I can't put it on, model it for you and see how it looks. But look at the quality that gone into this here. A very good mask, very good quality, and I just can't wait for it, so uh, that's all I can say really, it's that good. I mean, I think that's the best thing that's come up yet, so uh, let's get on with the next thing. Okay, so next up guys, um, we got a little plush toy here, well not a little, it's quite big, it doesn't even kind of fit in the camera, unless I do that. Um, well, there's not much to say, I mean they're missing the bad logo, so I don't know what's happened there. I mean, this is a prototype, so it's not finished yet, I guess. But the the really thing that annoys me here is this head is made of plastic, where the rest is just a nice little kind of plush toy that you could probably take to bed with you and cuddle at night. 
but then this little plastic head like really ruins it for me and uh, it's just if I get the autofocus to work here it just doesn't fit with the rest of the toy at all and it is really disappointing they've really missed out on something here so I'm hoping when it comes into the shops that they kind of rectify this and if they do then this is a prototype and this is probably going to be worth loads so on the upside I'm happy with that thought but uh other than that, I'm really disappointed with this, so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna review the next one now. Okay, so what we got here now is, it's a little bit of fun. I mean, it's a little Batman, I mean, if I get the autofocus to work here. Uh, oh, I think we got it there. I think that's, I think that's the one. Um, it looks like it's gonna be something that they put in cereals. He punches. A little articulation there, so maybe they'll put in like little bad guys or something that you can beat up with your little serial toy Batman. It's a bit of fun, very cool. It doesn't look a bit like Ben Affleck because it's quite small in nature, so uh, that's a bit disappointing, but it's a little fun toy, so I'm quite happy with it, I guess. If I got it in a serial, I'll be quite happy for the rest of the day, so that's all I can say about it, really. It's a bit small, but... Again, it's going to be in the cereal box, so... Okay, let's review the next thing. Okay, so don't forget, guys, this is a world exclusive, okay? You won't see this anywhere else, but... This is an officially licensed toy for the Batman vs Superman film, and it is the Joker. I know. It's for Batman vs Superman, it's not for the Suicide Squad movie, and it looks like he will be in this film before Suicide Squad. Uh, it's, it's got a 60s style to it, if I can get the autofocus to work again. Uh, yeah, he's wearing his kind of 60s style clothing. Uh, his articulation is really cool. His hands go up, his head spins around, and then his knees as well also bend. So there's really good articulation on this toy. And it's just really cool to see that he might be in this movie. Maybe Superman will beat him up or something. That would be really cool. And the okay, so next up we have this Batman Lego toy. Um, to be honest with you guys, I am quite disappointed with this. I made it earlier with my own hands and fingers. I'm just not impressed at all. I mean, is this his suit to fight Superman? Or is this his suit to the most awful costume contest? Come on, guys. You can do better than this. It just doesn't look right, really awkward. It's like them Bionicle figures, but it's Batman, so it shouldn't be like that at all. So that's really disappointing, and I hope they fix this. But this is actually something that they've released already, so that's really unfortunate. I mean, even the color scheme here is blue and black, whereas all the other toys we've seen is uh, black and gray. So that's really disappointing. It doesn't look great, I'm afraid, to me. Uh, that's all I got to say about it, unfortunately, so I'll move on to the final thing that I got for you. Okay, and finally now, we have some licensed slippers. I mean, uh, it's getting quite dark now, unfortunately, so uh, it's hard to show you. And the lights in my house don't work, so uh, these are some slippers, fully licensed. Unfortunately, these aren't my size, so again, I can't show you... the show them to you on my feet and show how they are but they feel really soft here they got a hard bit on the back so uh, if you step on stuff it won't hurt your feet as much they don't feel like bat skin though so don't worry about that it's nice it's probably made of cotton uh, that's all I gotta say I mean I wish they were my size otherwise I'd be wearing them right now but unfortunately they're not so uh, that's all I can say about them well that's all I've got to show you today. Remember, this is a word exclusive. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And please let me know if you like the look of these toys, if you're excited for the new movie. And just thanks for watching, guys. So, oh, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, adios, reptiles.